Hey guys, I thought I'd take a moment to give you an update on our JMK harness, which we've been using now for about six months on Maui. Actually, maybe it's like less than six months, but regardless, let's tell you about what's been going on with the harness and how it's been holding up. So first of all, just to recap, we started harness training Maui from pretty much the moment we got him home back in August last year, when he was just about 14, 15 weeks old. And here's a clip of that, showing us with that harness training. We started off with the aviator harness. It was just the one that was recommended. We did our research as per normal, spoke to a couple of parrot owners and they were using aviator. And as per aviator on the website, so it's recommended for green wing macaws. So extra large as green wings are one of the largest macaws there are. So we thought great, excellent, and all was going well. We trained him with it, took him around on it. And after a while, he did start to chew it. We like all parrots, Maui likes to chew stuff. He likes to put everything in his mouth and test it out. Test out density, see what it's all about. And then eventually the inevitable happened and he broke his first harness. Now, luckily um, it was at the time he was in the car. So he was in his cage in his car. We got him out of the car. And at that point we noticed the harness broken. So he didn't get away, he didn't fly off. It was in my hand at the time. No harm was done, it was just unfortunate. And in fairness, Northern Parrots, who we purchased the harness from, were extremely good, and they gave us a replacement. Wait for the placement, the placement come, and yes, just a few days later, I think actually twice, took him out twice with the harness on, he broke it in exactly the same place. Now here's the thing with macaws and with parrots, and especially with Maui, once he works out to do something once, or once he sees something once, he will never, ever forget. So he knew where the weak spot was on the harness, and he soon got the brand new harness, he just broke it straight away. There goes, that was the end of the aviator. We kind of gave up with the aviator at that point. So we went back to research, back to forums, and we found this group called JMK. Now to be honest with you, they were a little bit hard to find because they really only um, promote their products via Facebook. That is Maui whistling downstairs. So we found JMK harness um, via Facebook and we thought we'd give them a go. Now, what a contrast. So it's a pretty different design. If you have a look at it here, now you'll see we actually did a separate video on our first impression. So I won't recap all of that. Make sure you go and watch that. I'll link it below and at the end of this video. So really easy to get on, simple design, absolutely fine. So we've been using this pretty much, not every day, but most days throughout the week. He'll go have his harness on whether it's going out in the car with us to the park, to practice free flying or just out in the garden will put his harness on. And of course, he chews his harness, because again, he will, why not? They will leave it alone for a little bit, then they'll chew it. Sometimes when we put him on, he'll put it in his mouth, just have a little chew on it, and see if he can work out where the weak spots are on his harness. But this is the state of his harness so far. And as you can see, it's holding up pretty well. So yes, there are a few threads missing out of the material. Of course there are. Now he's got a very sharp beak, very pointy beak and he's had a bit of a go of squeezing it. And you can see where the stitching is here. He's actually squeezed that as well, but it's held up. He's not got through it. And importantly as well, the metal buckle, uh, which is metal, not plastic, has actually held up extremely well. So the harness itself is doing absolutely fine. So if we go down the lead on the harness as well, you can see the joint, which was breaking on the aviator, is still absolutely fine. Now this is a different design. It's got a clip, which will clip on to so you can put the lead, if you like, on the harness. Well, what we'll say, he has bent that clip a couple of times. So we are looking to change that clip over. I mean, to be honest with you, when I try and squeeze that clip with my fingers, it's very, very difficult to do, but he's managed to bend it a few times. So we've trained it up, not a problem. If you go to the other end of the harness, one of the things we liked with this, there was a wrist strap for it. So an adjustable wrist strap, which you could tighten up. And that had a plastic toggle on it. And I will say had a plastic toggle on it. Yes, at some point, Maui did get to the wrist end, probably when we were on an extension lead with it and chewed the toggle off. Yes, okay, fair enough. He chewed it off, so we've just tied a knot in there at the moment that goes over our wrists or it goes onto the extension lead that we have for him or we attach the extension lead onto the first part of the harness. So really, in comparison, I think so far so good. It has it has lasted longer than the aviator, longer than both aviators um, so far, because um, Maui is actually a year old next week. Um, so. This one's lasted almost six months, that's absolutely great. We are gonna order another one from JMK, um, just so we have as a spare, just so change, maybe just a different, different color, just so we have another one around the house, or we leave one in the car, 
Um, not because there's anything wrong with this one, and you can see, yeah, it's holding up. Yeah, there's a few little things wrong with it, but no problem whatsoever. And the guys and girls at JMK have been absolutely great. They've actually checked in with us as well a few times to see how we're getting on with the harness because they know we had issues with the aviator, and we've actually referred a number of people to them. So definitely a big thumbs up from us. We recommend the JMK aviator harness. Let us know how you're getting on with yours in the comments below. In the meantime, feel free to check out the original first impressions video that we did at the JMK, which is over here somewhere. And stay tuned, please subscribe because we'll be posting more videos now. Thank you.